Watcher, welcome back. Bonneville Farkles. What number is it? Dunno, let's get stuck in. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, now you remember a little while ago, um, we took the standard steel heavyweight factory chain guard off Penny's Bonneville and we put this lightweight one on from Motown. Now, I like it, I really like this. I like the aggressive look of it, but our Penny, not so keen on it. It doesn't follow my lines. Follow your lines? <laughs> <laughs> what, <are> your script? <laughs> right, so I like it though. On the other sense, I really, really like it. So what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna have that and we've got a new one for Penny that's yeah. got a bit of a curve to it. Yeah. This is the new design, dun dun dun. Now the guys at Motown are Yay, curvy baby. Curvy baby. <laughs> like you really, innit? <laughs> Got that curve at the back with these great kind of let's put it against the white background. It kind of holes in it. That is very cool. Completely different shape. They do them both now. You can still buy this one if you like it, and I like that. But that's much more of a kind of traditional design, follows the original one. It is still probably two inches shorter there than the original one, and being that, that is alloy, it still weighs couple of ounces it really is very very light indeed three mil thick extremely chunky very rigid and black powder coated so it's a great piece of kit for the bike same sort of price the last one what about 50 pounds or so aren't they yeah about not cheap but they are really are a beautiful piece of kit they're much much nicer than that piece of stamped out spot welded tin that you get in the factory and that's always good so just pop it on fits literally as easy as that oh, as simple as that Two volts, job done. Think, eh? Much nicer. Happier? Yep. It's a bit better, isn't it? Follows yep. the line a bit meter. Yep. If you've got a different design, the way I'm going with the scrambler, that's going to look perfect. That will be exactly what I need. But that, as far as it looks, I think that's far more in keeping with your Bonneville, don't you? I do. Lovely. Cool. Right. I'm going to poke that on the scrambler and then we'll show you one more thing we've got to fit to the bike that I think is also a really cool, really cool little upgrade. Let's get this stuck on first. Right in there. Now these are also the sort of things that you can afford quite reasonably and they're top quality kit that makes your bike better and enhances the machine. There we are. A little bit more aggressive looking at it. Mm, nice. Excellent. Okay, something else. Um, obviously what we're doing here is we're trying to enhance the bikes a little bit and turn them into a bit of a custom bike, a little bit unique. and. It has been mentioned that we're using the Motone parts all the time. Is this something like a promotion? No, it isn't, to be honest. I found Motone a little while ago. Uh, the chap that owns the company and designs all this stuff has got a singular vision. He's doing some awesome things that even looking at fuel tanks in the future. So this company are going places and I really appreciate what they're up to. They're, they're based in Wales and I love the style of their parts, really. And honestly, that's all it's about. I believe personally that if you're going to put a range of accessories on a bike, stick with one company. You could go to Joker Machine if you like, and you could buy all of their parts. You could go to British Customs, buy all of their parts, or Motone, and get pretty much most of your accessories, all of them, their parts. And what you do with that is you get a consistency of design through the bike. You start looking at things like the key locator, the uh, shrouds that hold the headlight, and other things that you put on, like the mud guards and so on, uh, the chain guard, sorry. You do end up then with a nice flow going through the bike. It all hangs together right. If you buy different parts from different companies, uh, when you add it all together, it just looks like a big old patchwork, doesn't it? It like can it was, do. Like it was designed by committee, as Dave says. <laughs> um, so one of the other things that I really, really like about Motone, not, they don't just think in, uh, about looks, they're not all about that. They're actually designing things that work better than the original. And one of them, on the Bonneville series of bikes, that is an appalling design. It truly is a hateful and appalling design, is the oil filler cap. If you ever look down here, can you see it down the top there, Ken? Mm -hmm. This kind of thing with a coin slot. Can you? Can I see it? Let me grab it. 
that's it there. Now this thing down here is the oil filler cap uh, in a Bonneville it's that one there that's a different one and that's the standard factory one there and it is just the most ridiculous thing in the world you can't get to it you can't get a tool in there you can barely slide your fingers in underneath you can't even get a flat spanner in there which is why when we fitted that on Penny's bike from Tech I didn't put one on the scrambler because you can't get down there you could probably get a socket down there but honestly there's a better idea that's it Right, I'll show you first of all how to get them off. You need a big fat girt screwdriver with a square blade right down on top of it. And then an opening spanner on that. Push down hard and step the lock. There it is. And then you can undo it. Can you see down in there? Yeah, you can see. You mm -hmm. can't see down on top of it. Yeah. Now, then you just have to reach down and grab hold of it. Now obviously, it's a bit of a concession going on here because you've got the high level pipes. You don't have these on the other bikes. Let's grab the O-ring before it goes down inside the engine. There it is. Now that to me, to be honest, that's a piece of steel. It chews. You always chew it, invariably. I'm probably wrong here. Some of the knowers will probably tell me that there's a special tool from Triumph. But honestly, if there is, that's even bloody worse. You know, why would you need a special tool to undo your filler cap? You should be able to top up your oil without buying special tools. That, you can't put a coin in it because there's no coin big enough unless you go for like a two pound coin and now you're gonna get down there. Honestly, that is shit. I hate that. So that's going and in place of it, what we've done here in the past, we've gone with one of these, which is the billet machined one from Tech Bike Parts. It's got a 19 mil hex head on it, but this, little beauty is from Motone. Mm. That is lovely. It truly is. You've got, look at that. That's just trying to undo <laughs> that. Trying to get in there and snap that undone and lacerate your finger on the carburetor. So that's going straight back in the normal place. That just pops in top. And the beauty of it is, like with the seat bolts on the back, it is a hand do up part, but you've got a six mil Allen bolt head in the top on a reverse thread. Uh, bonded in so that will act you can get a long allen bolt down there and just nip it undone that's a beautiful piece of kit looks nice let's fit that in ever mm -hmm. so simple down inside there particularly pointing on the scrambler because there is no way in there the exhaust is cleverly designed to hide it and stop you getting to it so we can see is my hand at the minute can't really you see can. It. you're in your own light there it is. Mm -hmm. So that is much, much neater looking. You just pop an Allen bolt head in, literally wrist tight, snip it up. That's it, that's all it needs. It certainly doesn't need doing up tight. It's an oil filler cap on a rubber O ring. And there it is. Right. Cool. So one last thing because. Yep. Because it's your birthday coming up soon. It is. I thought I'd treat you to one as well. To go with one? <laughs> Got another one. To go with one better plate. What did you think was in there? I don't know. We thought we'd get another one because oh, that because I've got all black now. Obviously, doesn't work. Let's get my 19 mil. Oh, where's that go? Let's grab a span. So, quite simply, take that one off. So that's the tech parts one. Which at the time we got this. Well, I'll keep that in keep case I go safe. back to we'll keep different colour. The, the principle here is that when we got this, they only did them in silver. They didn't do a black one. I believe they do now. Uh, but while I was getting this, I think that is a considerably nicer design. And it goes with the engine. It looks better. What did you get for your birthday? <laughs> Oil filler cap. <laughs> <laughs> your cup truly runneth over. <laughs> Look at that. There we are. Just slide the O-ring into place. And then pop it back straight on top. There we are. Just about the easiest far call you could fit, eh? That's it. I just literally don't, obviously the fact there's an Allen key in there or an Allen bolt with head in it, don't overdo it. Just a little light. Yep, that's it, that's all it needs. There we are. Oh, wow. 
Now that is far nicer. Now this whole issue with fitting little bits and pieces to your bike, we've said this in the last video, let's say it again now, you put decent quality accessories on your bike, you enhance the value, you enhance the pleasure and pride of ownership in the bike, and you are making it a little bit special. Watch any advertisement that you see for a Bonneville Scrambler Thruxton bike that's for sale, that's been modified and customised. You'll see references to each of the parts. People often even go as far as gratuitously listing every single part and its value. That's a little bit crass and gauche, but honestly, you just have to put down the names. If you're putting down names of parts like that, quality bullet parts like that, and the chain guard, then you're gonna get that respect for it, and then it verifies the price. Now, let's face it, folks, don't we all want top money for our bikes when we come to sell them? It gives us the money to go and buy the next one, and that's what it's all about. So investing this little bit of money like that, uh, these are $22.99, they're not cheap, again, but as I said in the last video, good ain't cheap and cheap ain't good. It's as simple as that. They're made, machined from uh, aircraft grade billet aluminium, and they are fitted with these little stainless steel bolt tops, which make them a piece of cake to fit, do them up nice and neat so they can't be stolen, because obviously accessories like this, in their own right, become a commodity. So there it is, what do you think, like that? Great, thanks for my birthday, birthday present. <laughs> Happy birthday, let's say no buy you nothing. Right, there we are. Thanks for watching my channel.